His Majesty's sloop, Deptford, built at Chatham Dockyard, is launched in unusual manner. The water is brought to the ship, not the ship to the water. Number four dock in which she rests is flooded, and as she rises, ready to be towed out, a Mrs. J. E. Pearson, mayoress of Deptford, breaks a bottle of Empire wine across her bows. The name of the sloop forges a link between the navy of today and the time when, from 1550 to 1860, the glorious wooden walls of old England were all built at Deptford. Gales and storms continue to lash the coasts of Britain. In the northeast, heavy seas batter harbour walls and jetties, expending their windswept fury in cascades of spray. Shipping seeks refuge in ports, but fishing vessels in many places meet with disaster. Here at Eyemouth, Scotland, just north of Berwick on Tweed, the trawler Young Archie is wrecked at the mouth of the harbour and breaks her back. Happily, no lives were lost, but she is a menace to other vessels as she lies a victim of the storm. The King's famous racing yacht, Britannia, is to undergo extensive alterations to increase her speed and bring her into line with modern big yacht design. She is launched from her winter berth at East Cowes and towed to Gosport. Here she waits for low tide before being hauled onto the slipway at the Gosport yard. Her alterations are in the hands of Mr. Charles Nicholson, famous design designer of the Endeavour and Shamrock. When she takes the water again, Britannia will be in a condition to compete with the most famous and modern yachts in the world. The dog day is come to London in February. The agricultural hall is filled with the barkings and tail waggings of 4,000 dogs, a record entry for the world famous Cruft Show. Mr. Charles Cruft assembles a kennel load of our friends that has never been, been equal for fame of pedigree and variety of breed. Yet strangely enough, he has never yet owned his own dog. Spaniels are found to be the most popular breed this year. The Celian voices his opinion. A poodle, vive la France. Sheepdogs are lovely creatures. The Irish water spaniel. The Samoyeda champion does not like the camera. The shopkeepers in the quaint old town of Jedburgh, Scotland, put up their shutters. For soon the streets will be filled with men and lads playing the famous a decades old ball game on the Feast of Candlemas. It's an old traditional custom, this scramble for a ball, and years ago, in the bad old days, the Jedburgh townsfolk were prosecuted for indulging in it. But the ceremony still survives with a zest. Perhaps another Alec James may be found this way. <laughs> 